You know, art has many different mediums to it, whether you're a painter or a sculptor, whatever it is, flowers fall into that same category. As floral designers, we are floral artists. And sometimes it's just really fun to be able to work with our mediums that we use and just have some fun with it. Um, today I want to do another sculpture that um, has perceived value to it because it has so much negative space that I think it's just fabulous. And negative space is where you have a lot of air throughout the design that makes it encompass within the design itself because it's involved and it stays there. So with this art sculpture that I want to create, we start first of all with our base. And our base structure is made out of concrete. It's a quick crete that I use inside of a plastic container that I can just peel off and dispose of. Inside of that, while it's wet, I've taken a dowel that's covered with yarn and just wrap that on and then insert it into the wet quick crete so that when that hardens, then I have a nice, beautiful little stand. So that's, that adds texture to this and it adds detail and it pulls in that color palette that I want to use. So once that's done, then I need to start creating my sculpture. And with this sculpture, I like to start with 18 gauge wire. And I just add a couple pieces of 18 gauge wire. This is about five together that I'm going to use floral tape with. So by taking floral tape and just covering the whole thing with floral tape, I'm doing a couple different things. I'm adding tension, number one, which gives me the ability to add yarn to this so that it will stick and adhere just a little bit easier. The way that I add yarn to this is usually by using a drill, which makes it really fast. And this technique is just really kind of fun. And it's just putting this into the end of your drill. Gotta go the other way. <laughs> Tighten that on there so that your wire is in the drill itself. And then I start with my yarn. Now all I do is just wrap the end of that around if you have really long strand that you want to cover, then it's easier to do it with another person. But you just want to take it nice and easy and slow. I'm going to leave my drill laying down on the table and just turn it on. And I know it's a little noisy, but as you can see, I can just start wrapping this on. And I want it to go back and forth so that it gives me dimension and texture. And then it covers all of that floor tape nice and easily. show you then how easy that is done. There we go. And it's really fast. So I'm able then just to cover that whole thing very, very quickly. When I get to the end, what I like to do is just take a glue dash and just place that on there. And then just wrap that yarn around there so it stays put so that it gives me the ability to create my structure. So with that, this is the structure that I want to create. So you can see it looks like I have branches that have been developed with this. And so this is just strands of covered wire that I've attached together. And then at the very top of it, I take a finishing nail and a hammer and I go down through my structure with the finishing nail and hammer that down into the wooden dowel so that it gives me that support at the very top. You could extra secure that with a little bit of glue, whatever you wanted to do to create that. The next step that I wanted to do is use metallic wire. And the metallic wire comes in many different colors. This happens to be turquoise, but you can use any color that you want. And when I want the metallic wire, I don't. I'm not particular whether it's exact length. You could do whatever length that you want to. If you like them exact, go ahead and do them exact. Me, I don't really care. But I take four strands together. You can see I kind of started this at the very bottom. So I've grouped four together here, four together here. I've got one started to the front and I'm going to come to the back. So I have them in different layers. And once I wrap that around, I give it a good twist. And then I use a needle nose plier just to give it an extra twist so that it's going to be nice and sturdy for me. And I like to start at the very bottom of this so that I and work my way up to the top. And sometimes you can make them a little bit longer at the top depending upon what you want to do. But you can see that they're all different lengths and all different sizes. What I start with is once this is completely covered with my groupings of four wires, 
Then I'll come back and just start adding details to this. And my details, I'm just adding on with a glue gun. So I have some berries, I have some foliage leaves that we can use. And all I do is just start putting a little bit of glue on the back of it and just gluing it on. Let me add it to this one. And I just stick it right to the wire itself and just let it get a little bit tacky so that it stays put. I could add berries to this here. I have some permanent botanical berries, a little bit of glue. I can add that to the very end. And that little bit of glue just makes sure that they stay on there. I also have, these are accent decor pom-poms. This is the pom-pom garland from their holiday collection. Then I'm going to add to this. And this is all just about textures, just adding different textures and different elements to this. Um, you can add hydrangea blooms, you can add any type of flowers. Sometimes you just have to hold it just for a little bit so that it stays put. Stay on there for me, darling. Let them hang upside down, it's not going to fall off. This, I have an oryngium, this is a permanent tank oryngium that I like to use too, just because the foliage on this is fabulous. And it gives me such tremendous texture. So I can add that then to my little wire. And this does take a little bit of time, but then you're following all the principles and elements of design by texture. You're adding your depth that's created. You're adding so many different elements to this just to give us that impact. Let me turn you around so that you're up and above. Of course, I got glue all over my fingers. Let me turn you up so you can see that. Um, something else that I like to add to this is this that were just fabric butterflies. And I'm just going to cut it apart. Sorry about the butterfly. But I love that impact of color. So using a little bit just to add that on. And you can use many different, whatever you have, just to create that texture. All these different dried elements that you want, all the different dried flowers, you could add to this whatever detail that you want to do. Now, when you're using a glue gun, you want to make sure that you're careful with it because it is hot. You can use a lower temperature if you want to, but I also just want to be, you want to be careful with the fact that if you burn your fingers, that to have a little bit of maybe a little bit of water next to you, so you can stick your finger into that. I'm going to set you aside and you can see how we're just going to develop this up. And let me move you down. And let me show you what we have. So once you continue this, you get this beautiful little, it can be springy, you can do this in any color. I find this just really springy. But by adding all of the detail to all of these different levels of wire, then you can get such an amazing movement throughout. Now, I have a few glue strings and that happens with um, when you're using hot glue. If you take a dryer, a hot dryer for your hair, and turn it on high and just hit the whole thing before it, and what it does is that it melts that glue right down into whatever you got there. So all of these little things are going to disappear, so you're not going to have glue strings or anything on that order. But you can see the detail that we've added to this. This would be fun to do for Easter and add Easter eggs to it. You could do it seasonally. This is nice and springy. I've got some beautiful accent decor textural moss. This is the... Uh, Ranger moss is added to the top of this, but adding the detail of the butterfly wings into this, the variegations that we see with the foliage leaves, hydrangea blooms that are added to this, even those little pom-poms give us those great texture that we see the detail. And you can see the negative space in this is huge, but you're giving us a base structure, just kind of that yarn that we added to the center that created those branches, gives, gives us weight. It makes it settle down and they're adding all of that airiness around that. So art in itself can be whatever you want it to be. I just find this wire sculpture to be really fun and I want you to try it.